Hey girls. So, since this coming week is Thanksgiving week for those of us in the U.S., so me and Moggy, I thought I'd do a video of what I'm thankful for. And it's just going to be a simple, quick video, but that's okay. The reason it's going to be simple and quick is because I just started doing a 8 to 5 job. And by 8 to 5, I also mean 7 to six because it takes an hour to get there and back at my dad's workplace and I'm just doing it for six weeks just helping do stuff in the warehouse during the Christmas season getting stuff packaged and tested and sent out <sighs> it's it's can it's long but it was 12 bucks an hour and I couldn't really pass that up so that's why I'm so busy anyway I'm thankful for my $12 an hour job for that extra money that it's getting me so I can get people Christmas presents and ensure that my cell phone bill will be paid for the next few months if I don't end up getting any Etsy purchases for some reason. I'm thankful for my beautiful house, for my awesome room, for the fact that my parents are still letting me live here despite I have to pay rent, but the fact that I can live here. I am thankful for my talents and the joy that I find in them and the joy that I can bring to others with them. I'm thankful for my church. I'm thankful for YouTube, because I love YouTube. I'm thankful for you guys, because you guys are awesome. I'm thankful for my grandma. Her birthday was yesterday. She just turned 86. Hey, grandma. She doesn't watch these. I'm grateful for books, and this goes with the talents, too, but I'm so grateful that I can write. Even though I really suck at selling my stuff to other people, I'm grateful that I can write well even under pressure, so that's always helped me through school and and through college. Even as an English major, I could still take one hour to write like a ten page paper. Well, okay, that's that's dramatic. A five page paper. <laughs> and I would still get like an A or a B plus, even though this is an English teacher grading it. So, you can imagine my other classes that weren't English classes, I always had A's. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm grateful for that talent that I've got. And my artistic talent. Because it's making me money. And it's supporting me. I am grateful for Etsy. I am so grateful for Etsy. I am grateful for My Little Pony, because those, those ponies are, were the main staple of my, my money over the summer and a little bit in the fall. Right now, they're the ornaments, so I'm grateful for my glass ornaments. <laughs> my fish. I'm grateful for Tommy, my upside-down fish, because he's just an interesting, interesting fish. And I'm thinking of writing a children's book about him. I'm thinking of actually doing that within the next couple of months and making a hard copy to give to my sister for Christmas just for fun to see what she thinks of it, and then I might actually try to sell them. I'm thankful for the invention of computers and technology. I'm grateful for chocolate. Because I love chocolate. I'm grateful for everyone who has ever taught me. Pretty much everyone. There's there are some teachers that I would get out of that list, but I should still be grateful because then I have an experience and I can tell stories about those teachers. My, with my storytelling stuff, which I never do anymore. I need to do some more storytelling. I am grateful for my best friend, Danielle, for the fact that I ever met her, because she is my best friend ever. No offense to all my other best friends, you're still, you're still awesome friends. But Danielle and I are so much alike. We're like the same person, so I am very grateful for her. And whenever I have something to complain about, <laughs> or I want to be whiny about something, I always go to her. No one else. I don't really talk to my mom about those kinds of things. I just complain to Danielle. She's like my mom. I am grateful for nerds because they pay my bills by buying my Etsy stuff. I am grateful for loving parents that raised me in a environment where I could grow up having strong morals and and just knowing 
why I'm here and what it is that I am doing and where I am going in this life. It's it's nice to have that knowledge and to have parents who raised me in such a good home and just are awesome parents. I mean, again, I'm almost 25 and I still live here. I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for the mountains, for animals, for snow, for pine trees, for grass, for the sky. I'm grateful for everything. I love it. Even the hard times because trials are what make you grow as a person. I shouldn't say make you. What help you grow if you choose to grow as a person. It's very important. So happy Thanksgiving, Moggy, and everyone else even though it's kind of an American holiday. Aside, I think Canada has a Thanksgiving. I think. It seems like I saw it on the calendar, but it was a while ago. It was like a few days ago or last month or something. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving!